the Linux Foundation has announced their stop to Google Maps as it announces the Overture Maps Foundation to build open map data for developers and contributors to use. Let's check out this announcement. The Linux Foundation, a global nonprofit organization enabling innovation through open source, today announced the formation of the Overture Maps Foundation. This was announced in around December 15th, 2022, and is a new collaborative effort to develop interoperable open map data as a shared asset that can strengthen mapping services worldwide. It was actually founded by Amazon Web Services, Meta, Microsoft, and TomTom. So we have a big names in this sector backing the Linux Open Source Foundation. And basically their main goal here is to build open map data that's available to everybody. So let's check out their mission and discuss why this is meant to compete against Google Maps, which really doesn't have any competition at the moment when it comes to mapping software, especially with the majority of people using it. So the plan here is to enable current and next generation map products by creating reliable, easy to use and interoperable open map data. This map is the basis for extensibility, enabling companies to contribute their own data. So basically anybody could be able to contribute to the map data and it's not closed source like Google Maps. Members will be able to combine resources to build map data that is complete, accurate, refreshed as the physical world changes. So with the ever-changing map landscape, what this project is suggesting is that if we open this up to contributors all over the world, we'll get more updated real-time map data as the landscape of the world is ever-changing. Basically, the goal here is to keep map data as updated as possible. And it says mapping the physical environment of every community in the world, even as they grow and change, is a massively complex challenge that no one organization can manage. The industry needs to come together to do this to benefit all, said Jim, an executive director for the Linux Foundation. We are excited to facilitate this open collaboration among leading technology companies to develop high quality open map data that will enable untold innovations and benefit people, companies, and communities. And here's what they plan on supplying with Overture Maps, basically collaborative map building, global entity reference systems, quality assurance processes, and structured data schema. So basically only one way to do things right, ways to check and verify data that they get from maps, logistics, to combine data, and finally, open source collaboration, helping organizations scale mapping systems. And basically the biggest reason I believe that they're doing this is because of something that they speak about here, which is a disparity of high quality mapping data that's available to developers and companies besides Google, because they've had 15 years of development go into Google Maps. So there's gonna be a hard time catching up even with a ton of capital and an ambitious project like this. Who's to say that anybody actually uses the data and builds some sort of a mapping software based on the data that's going to be available from this project. But overall, they say today, developers delivering map services, many challenges, as I spoke about, sourcing and curating high quality current and comprehensive data from disparate sources are difficult and expensive. The barrier of entries for companies and developers is pretty big right now, and that's why the Linux Foundation is highly focused on getting this data available around the world with thousands of contributors and open sourcing it to all. Multiple data sets reference the same real world entities using their own conventions and vocabulary, which can make them difficult to combine. Again, speaking about how there's no one structured way of representing data, they're going to work on that as well. Map data is vulnerable to errors and inconsistencies. Open map data can also lack the structure needed to easily build commercial map products and services on top. So you can now kind of see how this new Overture Maps project, the Linux Foundation's attempt to help make access to map data easier and hopefully build other projects and software that isn't just Google Maps, which we all use because many of our apps, regardless of if you like it or not, is basically based off the Google data set anyway, just like Waze uses Google's mapping data to actually give you directions and the mapping data, and then they overlay their own tools on top of that to give a better user experience. But at the end of the day, they're reliant on Google as well. They do have a site up right now. I'll post a link in the 
description below so you can read more about Overture Maps. But here it says it's going to be powering the current and next generation map products by creating reliable, easy to use, and interoperable open map data. Who is it for? It's for developers and mapping services. And why Overture? Well, there's going to be collaborative map building, global entity reference system, quality assurance, and a structured data scheme. The founding members here are Amazon, Meta, Microsoft, and TomTom. So there's some big names in this open source project. And if you want to read more and even become a member of the project, you can now by joining on Overture Maps. And we'll talk about some of the wild membership tiers here below. Basically, there's an annual fee. And if you have a cool $3 million laying around, you can actually help steer this project, which I'm sure that the likes of Microsoft, Amazon, Meta and TomTom have already paid. But basically, if you can't afford the steering, you can get the general contributor or the qualified nonprofit or government memberships. Anyways, this is pretty cool to see. Do you think this is a direct attempt to try to destroy Google Maps by open sourcing mapping data to all and not just having it proprietary? Let me know what you think about that in the comment section below. It does excite at least me that the Linux Foundation is getting involved in this as they have huge familiarity with open source. And if anyone would be able to pull this off, it would be them. Anyways, subscribe if you've made it this far. You're clearly enjoying the content. Smash that like button for me and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.